Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, brilliant star avatars of the 144 encoded DNA Merkaba vehicles of light. The dragon kings and queens are being activated and crowned for the final transformation and resurrection into the magi of the golden rose of Jericho. This is to bring power, peace, happiness, and abundance to every family and every home under God's heavenly abode. As we continue to let go of the old, we make way for the new. We must release and let go of all that no longer serves Gaia and humanity on the new earth. The dragons of the northeast merge with the eagles of the northwest. The phoenix of the southeast merge with the condor of the southwest for final Heros Gamos of the 72 by 72. The four directions come together in the still zero point center of the sacred hoop for full compression breakthrough. Solaris is blasting off more filaments of higher light, flooding Pachamama with gamma plasma waves directly from the great central sun, Hunab Ku, the galactic butterfly. All light frequencies coming in now are for the total metamorphosis of Gaia and all her children of light into the crystal, luminous, golden ones of infinite life. We travel together through the pearly gateway of heavenly splendor as we continue the complete anchoring of the fifth dimension into the foundations of the third dimensional resonance. We continue to rise through the holy vortex of cosmic consciousness to allow all sentient beings of pure hearts to realize their eternal multidimensional quantum Buddha awareness. Earth angelic ground crew keep anchoring the energetics deep into the crystalline heart of Mother Earth while ascending up the spiral as we bridge the two worlds of heaven and earth through our sacred avatars of celestial light. You know what to do, beloved ones. Aho! Welcome, celestial beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you again today from our sacred New Earth scribe, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below on what you're experiencing, how you're feeling on this powerful day, and please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. With these intense energetics coming in, we had many earth changes and activations all over this realm. We have thousands of more of our angels of light joining these freedom convoys that began in Ottawa, Canada and spreading all over the world. We have our people all over the lands from the United States to Australia, Norway, all of Europe, even the Middle East, our angels there rising up. I call this the caravan of peace. Our prayers, love, blessing go out to all of our angels of the new earth that are rising up to usher in this new golden age of peace and to end the tyranny, slavery, and suppression of the dark forces that were controlling this realm for many eons. We had many earth changes. We had massive flooding today in, in the sacred portal of South Africa in Guatang and KwaZulu, Natal major flooding and evacuations all over that realm. And our prayer, love, and blessings go out to all of our people suffering to these massive earth changes occurring through this great awakening and transformation as our Mother Earth continues to purge and cleanse and heal from the great traumas of the past. We had many activations all over this realm with 148 M1.5 or greater earthquakes the last 24 hours, the most powerful on the Ring of Fire, South America, with a 5.3 in Chile. Earlier today, we had a 3.4 Cobb, California, India, Hamachal Pradesh, 4.2, Puerto Rico, we had a 3.1, Colombia, South America, very tip 4.44 coming in, and the very northern tip of South America, 
the most north point of the Andes Mountains, Kundalini Pachamama, with a 5.1 activation, 73 kilometers depth, 73 into the 37, bringing heaven to earth, Alaska 5-2, Kermadec Islands 4-5, Council of Nine coming in, the Sacred Portal, Tajikistan, where the three holy mountains merge together, Tian Shan in the north, Celestial Mountain, Kunlun in the middle, Himalayan in the south, with a 4.4 activation, Divine 44 coming in, Dominican Republic 3-8, Alaska Peninsula 3-4, Dominican Republic 3.6, Council of Nine Energy, the Sacred Portal of Turkey, very close to Istanbul in the Sea of Mamara. We had a 4.1 activation. Kermadec Islands 4.9. Gulf of Mexico 4.4. And the Crown Lemuria Aleutian Islands 4.2. Ionian Islands Greece 4.2. Tibet Autonomous Region China. This is the original Tibet 4.4. 88 Portal Lions Gate Lyra Nation coming in. Alaska Peninsula 3-4, Panama, Central America, 4.6, Puerto Rico, 3-3, 2-33, activation, 6-6, six, six, portal, 6-dimensional six energy coming in, Indonesia, 4-8, Trabuco, Canyon, California, 3.5, another 8, Chile, 5-3, with most powerful, another 8-8 eight, eight activation, Lions Gate fully open activated 2346 UTC 103 kilometer depth San Leandro California 32 Indonesia 45 another activation Colombia 4.6 Puerto Rico another 33 31 another 36 35 multiple activations with the new Atlantean energy, divine masculine coming in, and then a powerful 4.1 in our sacred portal of Ecuador, just south of zero point equator, 402 UTC with a 4.1 activation. The whole grid again today, totally lit up, activated the dragon lines flowing freely with divine illumination. Gaia continues to rise as we rise with her. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 2 degrees, 32 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 18 degrees, 21 minutes Aquarius. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 19 degrees Aquarius. A forest fire quenched. Divine waters coming in. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 3 degrees Taurus. Steps up to a lawn blooming with clover. From astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Moonology from Yasmin Boland. And the card she pulled for you today, New Moon and Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. First and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally. Whatever has been going on in your working life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even 5 years time. That will inform your best course of action now, so think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggests it's time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. Attune to the moon. Make a proper plan and execute it well. Additional meanings for this card. You need to be more disciplined to reach your goal. Hard work will make your dreams a reality. A very good omen for study or teaching. Don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is controlling. The teaching. Capricorn is the sign of ambition, building, and hard work. The energy is solid and rigid. The new moon in Capricorn is a powerful lunation that comes towards the end of each year and marks arguably the best moment annually to make a list of your hopes, dreams, ambitions, and intentions for the year ahead. Pulling this card at any time suggests that, with planning and discipline, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. Time to make your dreams a reality. And from Divine Sister of the Light Ramona Lappin. Powerful Halo CME. 
erupted at Earth this afternoon, and I felt it as if I was tripping high on natural DMT until about an hour ago, not to mention nausea and dizziness. This one was very powerful even if only a C-class solar flare, which we have had continuously popping off for over a week now, along with consistent solar windstorms on and off geomagnetic activity and some Schumann resonance spikes. Yet these are merely the measurables, yet they point to, reflect, and confirm the massive shifts and changes taking place, a reflection of all that is transforming from within and through us now. The Earth's poles are shifting, and so is the consciousness to the new time-space coordinate of the one true organic ascension reality, all a reflection of each other, all happening as easily and gracefully as possible, as we are fully reconnecting to eternal source flow, an open source system. It's challenging to stay grounded with so much solar activity, plasma waves, and cosmic rays bathing the planet as the consciousness is shifting from distorted polarity to unity consciousness, the law of one. My suggestion would be to connect with nature, earthing, Epsom, Dead Sea salt baths, essential oils, move your body, self-care is very important, and of course keep the water intake up, maybe stay away from busy crowds. I also highly recommend pH high water as it assists the crystallization process and to stay as relaxed as possible. Anchor these super high frequencies through your body. Remember to be the eye of the storm and that this is the false matrix crumbling. Nothing to hold on to. Let it all go. We collapse the old and create all new from within the zero point field of divine love. God is love and God is who you, we are. Remember and connect deeply with the source that dwells within all things today and always all a reflection of some part of you, of the one, wanting for you to fall more deeply in love with all of the selves, more deeply than ever before, as when we truly know and love ourselves, as when we know and we have found ourselves as God, fully reconnecting and merging, becoming one with the source within us all. God comes to visit us when we no longer are there. Eternal love, Ramona. From space weather live, a filament erupted this afternoon near region 2939. The eruption registered as a C3.1 flare. A coronal mass ejection was launched with an Earth-directed trajectory. The CME is, however, faint and slow. An impact could occur on the 10th of February, but we expect little geomagnetic activity. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Celia Fen. The energy in the last few days has been so intense. The sun is alive with sunspots and solar flares. I was expecting a big one, an X-class, to help raise the frequency on the Earth. I still think we will have an X-class flare soon as we move towards the 2-22-2022 on the 22nd of February. I think we can call this fabulous February as light codes increase and everything is just radiant and humming. This is what we are being called to do right now, to hold as much light in our heart and in our DNA as we can tolerate. The DNA is lighting up and creating connections with our multidimensional self. This can be exhausting as you have not carried this level and frequency before and for so long, and it is going to increase as we are now only just hitting new earth frequency. You may also be having intense dreams as your DNA and timelines connect with other aspects of yourself on other timelines and spaces. It is all good, friends. As I said, this is what we came for, and we've definitely got this. Remember, too, that the more light there is, then the more love there is. We will start to feel more clearly the love and joy that connects us all as we rise into our full potential as new earth humans, and as we come home to who we truly are. Have a lovely Sunday, everyone. Did I mention that this is so exciting? And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Juan Jose Vallejo Sevicos. I love the name. He has the same name as my Brothor of the Light, John Joseph in English. February 6, 2022. Logos, golden rainbow plasma light codes entering the collective field, connecting to the galactic spiral of natural evolution. 
Many noble souls are now receiving these energies expansions to integrate the noble soul of humanity in universal free spirit reality and co-create the collective multidimensional identity of the civilization in the galaxy and the cosmos. The noble souls of honor, dignity, integrity, loyalty, sovereignty, identity, and free spirit and divine grace and from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Morichetti. Geomagnetic activity, solar activity, again timelines collapsing inside, 3D matrix bombarded, we can see our ego programs, polarities, galactic convergence, ancient wars visible through the holographic field, what is happening is so important for our planet. Here are some current light upgrades of our physical body, airs ringing, high-pitched tones, throat contraction, many things, old stuff coming up, mood swings and insomnia, disturbed sleep patterns for some people, head, forehead, jaws under pressure, maybe headache, migraine for some, energy flow is so intense today, we are completely breaking down everything that is no longer aligned to our highest good, to be able to manifest the highest version of ourselves. I need to recharge my light body today. I will follow the unicorn path, the magic Lemuria frequency, the beauty around me to create a beautiful recharging grid. Much love, Christina Morachetti from newlemuria.it and from Divine Sister of the Light, Illuminaria. The intensity of the energy today may feel very intrusive. I am seeing an energy of blue spirals entering our atmosphere. Your body cells may resist the beneficial impact and effect of this energy. Speak to your cells and give them reassurance and permission to accept it. A deep integration of energy is taking place at this time. Symptoms include a deep purging of toxins from the cells, causing intense pain and sensitivity throughout the body. The nervous system is in overdrive and the pineal gland is being cleared. And from Divine Sister of the Light Aura 444, Emerald Order activating your divine blueprint DNA, just as it was to be intended, clearing illusions, timelines, and artificial holograms, return of the light. We are bioluminescent, not dense slaves to the archons, as we end the old false matrix, ground to feel stable and safe. Crystal star waves of consciousness bringing in powerful diamond light codes. Feel the love lifting density from your body now as you shift from density, shadow, to light. As you open your heart to acceptance of the past, as it brought you to the now, you will accelerate your healing. Powerful galactic waves of light streaming to our sun now, bringing truth, freedom, love, and justice. By the end of the month, it will look vastly different than the last few years, only to increase with more miracles at the spring solstice. Hydrate ascension symptoms are strong. And from Divine Sister of the Light Karen Lithica, multidimensional light worker. It's the year 2022. A light worker you are with multidimensional healing abilities to heal the many. Your skills are continually upgrading, connecting your physical form to your higher dimensional form, integrating who you are, leading you to your true calling and mission. Know you can manifest the role you see. The options are endless. Know we meet you halfway. Align in the sand between the multidimensional realms to commune and prosper together. There you will find us, ready to assist your mission in upgrading your world, where your role will continue to expand and evolve. We ask you to focus on this message and to see yourself as a multidimensional light worker. Know this is you now as you awaken to your true potential, calling, and mission. Know how bright you shine, dear one. We send peace to our light warriors, the multidimensional ground crew, to continue expanding in your ever-changing reality. A message to enlighten your path. The Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from here in the Moon Astrology, Sunday, February 6, 2022, Facing Forward. Despite the date on the calendar reading February 6th, the new year has only just begun. Not just the Chinese New Year, but the emotional, psychological, and planetary New Year.
First, Venus completed her 40 days retrograde. Then last Friday, the third, Mercury turned direct. It's time to face forward. The gathering of planets and Earth signs Capricorn, Mars, Venus, Pluto, Mercury, and Taurus, Sedna, Node of Fate, Uranus, means dealing with practical, real-world, bottom-line matters such as your personal security, your finances, where you live, what you do and how you fit into the web of tribe and community. Saturn at the midpoint of Aquarius square the nodes of fate across Taurus Scorpio is a timely reminder that even your most creative plans, hopes and dreams need viability and grounding. On February 11th, Mercury conjuncts Pluto for the second time at 27 degrees Capricorn. Pluto operates under the radar in a helmet of invisibility revealing old issues, outworn patterns or ways of thinking that have been holding you back. Take a long hard look at your most stuck, limiting, and entrenched black and white beliefs and opinions, then update them based on where you are now in your life. The map is not the territory. Are you feeling your thoughts, not your situation? The only thing you're ever up against is the insecure feeling of your transient thoughts dressed up as fear. The map is not the territory means you are separate from reality. The menu is not the food. The road map is not the city. The map of the world you have in your mind is not the real world. You shortchange yourself of your full potential when you believe your mental map of the world is the territory you deal with every day. If you take your assumptions of people's behaviors, your position in the world, how people perceive you or anything as reality, when it is merely your mental map painted from the abstract understandings, you cheat yourself out of what you can become. Instead of interacting with the world, you interact with your map. How you treat people and yourself is dependent on the map you hold. Your mind is a projector, not a camera. Awakener Uranus and Taurus aligned with Mars, Venus, and Capricorn is shaking apart your old operating system. Isn't it amazing how often you keep on doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result? Break the pattern. Close the door permanently behind you on what is not working, has never worked or isn't worth the struggle. From here in the moon, astrology.co.uk And from Divine Sistar of the Light Leah Whitehorse Mars and Capricorn square Chiron and Aries. Mars is exalted in Capricorn and the ruler of Aries, but even those at the top of their game have doubts, fears, limitations, and obstacles to deal with. In a system that often honors productivity and worldly success above everything else, we can feel demoralized and demotivated when we think we're not up to the mark. For some, this aspect may feel like a chink in one's armor. We've dropped our guard and now we feel vulnerable. Let go of expectation and regret. You are not here to suffer. Have the courage to walk your chosen path with head held high. There may be an inability to set goals, a fear of showing passion, a fear of failure. Physical ability, fitness, or prowess may also be a source of feeling defeated. The archetype of the wounded masculine is in play. Let go of the competition, the race, the urge to win at all costs. Get to the emotional roots of your motivation and desires. Sometimes anger is healthy. Stop fighting your pain. The key to strength is facing weakness. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Cosmic Moon 7, Day 28 The experience of cosmic consciousness must coexist with an attitude of compassion and selfless service extended over the entire universe for the liberation and upliftment of all sentient beings. Key 19.3 19 is the key that opens the matrix of comprehension. 20 is the frequency of totality. 21 is God's unity crowning the number of totality. 13 and 7 are the laws of creation. 260 keys to synchronotron from 13moonpeacetime.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 159, Blue Electric Storm. Electric is the name for the number three, and its keywords are activate, service, and bond. The third day of any wave spell is always a real live wire. The number three is great for activating. It boosts the energy of the day. 
Today is Blue Storm, which represents cataclysm, self-generation, and energy. When the storm comes along, it can bring changes in a disruptive way. Some people enjoy this energy and the refreshing changes it brings. Others are frightened by the storm and feel compelled to hide under the bed. If you don't like change, you won't enjoy today. As it is an electric storm, look out for the lightning bolts. A good day to get things done and make sweeping changes. Harness this awesome force or get blown away by it is today's message. The guy today is the Blue Knight, the dreamer of the Zolkin. When it is guiding us, the Blue Knight is saying, follow your dreams. With all his electric power giving everything a boost, you can utilize this energy to power your imagination. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Electric Storm, 3 Kawak. Keen 159, 6th of February 2022, Catalyzing Transformation, 6 2 2022 equals 6 2 6, equals 6 8, equals 14, equals 5. Day codes, 6 Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility, 14 Media, Promotion, Recognition, 5 Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation, Movement, Month year codes, 2, twins, partner, cooperation, alliances, 6, heaven, Christ, family, romance, fertility, 8, infinite, abundant, source, flow, 20, the awakening, clear vision, 22, architect of peace, master builder, keen 159, equal 15, equal 6, heaven, Christ, consciousness, harmony, love, romance, 666, heavenly, Christ, codes, Huge energy is available today to catalyze divine miracles and transformation for our planetary liberation. Day 3 in the Red Earth Wave Spell of Evolution through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicity, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today we can access huge catalytic energies to transform our lives as we delve deep into our earth's dreaming and unleash great streams of abundance. Tone of creation, electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Its focus is on activating and being of service to others through the action of bonding that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy, it also adds power to anything you are creating today, an extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. The electric tone is doubled today with the electric seed year energies, so there will be very powerful thrust to getting moving on our missions. Today we may experience close bonding and divine, destined relationships with our kin in order to step into our new communities and greater destiny. A strong electrical charge exists between monadic souls and twins. Coupled with today's code, this makes for a very electrifying experience. Expect sparks to fly. The storm, the sun, the wind, and the moon all catalyzing together through the depths of Akbal, our collective unconscious and dreamtime realm, promise a huge purging, cleansing and electrifying experience today. Very powerful forces at play through Kin 159. Focus your intention to catalyze these tremendous forces to accelerate your mission and evolution. Dearly beloved planetary dreamers, trust in your great dreams and utilize these powerful codes today to make your dreams come true. Miracles do happen. Expect great things. Today's question is how can I harness the power of the storm to catalyze great transformation and manifest my dreams? Divine blessings for unleashing a great deluge of joy and prosperity. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 159, Blue Electric Storm. The mantra the code for today is, I activate in order to catalyze. Bonding energy, I seal the matrix of self-generation. With the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of abundance. 
And on this powerful day of abundance, transformations, and activations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're dreaming, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sistar of the Light Lynn for your pledge and support on Patreon. Thank you very much and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support us and help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge at our link at whitegoldeagle.com. And if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you can also do that at our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from our Zolkin and from our 17th dimensional beings of light. Shared by Ed Toreta. I am the world transformer, coded by blue storm. My number is 19, the power of all numbers. I am the master alchemist, the force behind the philosopher's stone, skilled in the arts of transmutation. I am the Catalan transformer, consciousness of the world and planetary life. I am aware of the changes in the weather. I am the thunder that shakes your world systems. I'm the snatching of clouds loaded with rays to enlighten the truth behind your illusions. I am the one who brings the rain that purifies. I originated the triple-looking monuments of the Avatar archetyped. What appear around the ancient temples, I'm watching the morning and night stars. I behold the creator of the fifth soul, the present world. I am sent to live among you, summoning the sixth sun. To the great regeneration of the soul of the world. To know me is to know your own power of self-generation. And from our beloved beings of the 17th dimension through the portal of the Pleiades star system. Pleiades 1 Messages, February 6, 2022. P1 calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for calls in PVSC-SDE. Sacred hearts unite. Awakened keep accelerating. Physicality is contemplated. War zones continue to be adjusted. PVSE projectors are updated in plus plus plus. Rains continue to fall. Dominant paradigm breaks down. Angelical forces continue to show. Sleepers continue to awaken by trumpets. Portal 0202. 100% active. Temporarily under transmission, Pleiades 1, supporting anchoring on Island of Purification, plus, 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 from DisclosureNews.it. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. I hope you enjoyed our little nature walk today through the mossy green of Fern Gully, beautiful sacred portal in southern Washington. One day very soon, angels of the new earth, our people will be able to take you to some of the most beautiful places that you've ever seen upon the new earth. They all look forward to that day. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred awakening journey as we continue to walk each other home. And keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.